Hello everyone. Okay, so as you can tell from the title of the video, today my friend Razin and I will be doing this kind of like a in mock interview. We chose three questions that we think are the most common questions that are being asked during an interview. Mm, and there's no right or wrong to this. This is just how this is just our way of responding towards that question. And then we will answer it based on our based on the job that we're trying to apply. Okay, so for me it is a biomedical scientist. Well, for Azin, he's applying for a environmental officer. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Thank you for coming and applying for this job vacancy. So, we will proceed with this uh, uh, online interview. So, firstly, can you tell me about yourself? Alright, first of all, I love science. I have been passionate about it ever since I was young. And I used to remember that I used to spend my spare time sitting in front of the TV and watch science documentary films with my sister. Then I got accepted into USM and I was offered a degree in biomedicine and that got me even more excited. Mm, besides that, I'm someone you can say that, well, I can excel at working alone but can, al can also work as a part of a team when needed. Um, talking about working in a team, during my studies, we had a lot of practical lab, lab practicals that need to be done, and usually we will work in groups. And I must say, having a group, having a cohesive team where you can work with was probably one of the best part of the lab practicals. Because of, because of that, uh, almost all our practicals went well. And then, other than that, I would just be excited to be able to learn from other people surrounding me and I would love to contribute uh, my skills and perspective towards your team's effort. So, it's your turn now Razin, tell me about yourself. Assalamu alaikum and hi, firstly, I would like to say thank you for giving me an opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Razin Farhan bin Elias, I am graduated of University of Science Malaysia from Bachelor of Environmental and Occupational Health. I completed a challenging internship as safety officer with property development company based in Kuala Lumpur. I was really interested in getting my hands on some experience. The position I received allowed me to complete my knowledge on safety and safety health and environmental aspect and problem solving in a hands-on setting while working towards the goal of optimizing and enhancing a current SOP used in our company. I am a quick learner and believe in learning from my mistake because I feel strongly this value will bring me for forward in life and career. In addition, I tend to be a teamwork oriented and reliable. I am also very collaborative person and have always preferred to work in groups. Working as safety officer for one year eventually helped me build self-confidence and motivated when working with a variety of people. And now, I'm looking to expand my experience to different industries and eager to implement what I have learned in a practical and impactful manner by joining your company. So, the second question is, what skill can, that you will bring to this job? Well, that's a good question. Well, I think that aside from um, effective written and verbal communication skills, I believe that to become a biomedical scientist, you should become a detail-oriented person. Why? Well, science in general are built upon lots and lots of observations and collected data, and that and that close attention to detail is important in developing scientific theories. In my present position, I found that being a detail-oriented person really helps me a lot in my studies. Like, for example, whenever the lecturers are giving the lectures, I will listen to them carefully. And after finish, I would read back all the notes 
and if there's something that I don't understand even if it's just this, a small thing I would refer back um, to my lectures and ask for clarification mm, aside from that I believe that not everyone was born perfect and going into this job I am willing to learn I am willing to improve myself as a better person I don't really mind receiving constructive criticism and even if your company provide a mentoring service I would gladly join it too how about you what are the skills that you would bring to your company recently I have dealt with a high pressure situation during my previous internship and the time I spent at university I often work to tight a schedule and deadline without any relaxation. As a result of this, I had to ensure I was organized and managed my time effectively to ensure all work was completed on time and to the best of my ability. Besides that, I can bring dedication and drive to succeed in this company. I've always been appreciative of what I of what the company I have worked for have done for me as well as I can do for them. I am loyal and a dedicated employee who wants to do my absolute best for the company I work for. So this has provided me this invaluable skill that I believe can be transferred into this new experience. I am looking forward to the, to the challenge and I am ready to start my career well. Okay, last question is what are your goals? In the future like say in the next five years well what are my goals mm, I think for now what's the most important for me is to first secure myself a job at a company or essentially any company or maybe this one so that that is to ensure that I have a place where I can work happily and also it can act as a place for me to um, boost my working ability and also to improve myself as a person in general. I will also look for um, opportunities where I could assume for a higher responsibility and then I will try my best to learn as much as I can but as much as I can from people surrounding me in my workplace so that I can maybe eventually take on the leader role because if given the chance I would love to manage a team of people and be a mentor for others like me in this field so that I can shape them into um, a successful and a better worker. And aside from that, all I could think of for my goal right now is to just learn because there's so much to learn now. And there's always place for me to there's always space for me to improve myself. So yeah, that's it. How about you? What are your goals? My immediate goal is to secure this environmental officer position at a company where I can continue to grow and improve both personally and professionally. I am enjoying challenges and looking forward to opportunity where I can take on more responsibility. With the focus of strategy and development, I would like to move and move into management and work my way into a long-term position where I can build a solid career. Right now, I am focusing on improving my communication skill through continuing education program. I am very interested in leadership position and know effective communication is critical. While I am very happy as a member of any team I am on, I am looking forward to being able on a small leadership role. Besides that, learning is really important to me. I want to continue learning technique that will make me better in future. That is why I am excited by the opportunity to work alongside the expert at this company. As I mature as a pro professional, I look forward to implying a leadership role for the next generation, next generation of analytical researchers at the company, ultimately making that move indicate Making that move indicate that I will be able to use everything I've learned to make new innov innovations throughout my education and career. 
Alright guys, that's it for the mock interview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's good for you to practice doing this kind of thing, especially with your friends or someone you're comfortable with, so that you can get rid of that nervousness and you can feel more confident um, during the actual interview. Yeah. So what I have learned from this uh, activity is I can improve my I can improve my communication skill by even though we doing our online interview by by virtual not in face to face meeting. Uh, besides that, I also can make friends from the other group by sharing the ideas or, or tips on doing the online interview. Uh, and lastly, what I have learned is uh this is one of the practice to prepare my real on job on interview so uh, this is that's all from us thank you